Hello friends, my name is Max Pronko and you are watching Magento Dev Channel. In this video, we are going to create our first Magento Pool module with minimum set of required files which will allow our module to be registered in the Magento Pool application, installed and at the end we are going to publish our module to GitHub account. Let's jump into the code. In this tutorial, I'm going to use installation prepared in our previous video called How to install Magento 2 via command line. I will go ahead and create new namespace called Bronco and then my module would be called Magento 2 module. The very first file we have to create is going to be registration registration.php this file will help to notify Magento 2 application about our newly created module what we have to do is to register our new module by using Magento framework component component registrar class with method register where we have to pass three parameters. First one is uh, type of our package. So there is a special constant we may use. It's located under Magento framework component, component registrar. And there are different types of constant like language, library, module and sim. In our case, we are going to use module. It would be Magento to module. Second parameter is name of our module with namespace. So it would be Bronco Magento to module. And lastly, we have to specify directory where is where our module is located. We will use dir php constant. Next, I'm going to create uh, etc directory where we will place module XML configuration file. This is a second required file for our Magento 2 module. And it's going to be XML. With a root node called config. Inside this config, we have to specify module, module node. Also, there are two required attributes for a config node. First one is namespace, where we have to say XML schema instance. And second attribute is actual location of XSD file. In our case, we will be using no namespace schema location from framework. So we will specify URN Magento framework and XSD file is located under module etc module XSD file. This file will help us to validate our configuration and will hi highlight all possible nodes and attributes which we can use in this configuration file. For module node we will specify name Bronco Magento 2 module and setup version 100. This setup version will be used when we will be installing data schema changes for our database which uh, are part of the module so in order to highlight uh, in order to use module xsd we have to generate uh, urn and what we will say we will use bin magento dev urn catalog generate command and we will specify file uh, our 
ID, in our case, PHP Storm, uh, ID misc.xml file, where we want to put all XSD mappings. This XSD will validate our file every time we want to add something or remove. For instance, we will remove setup version and it will highlight that setup version is required attribute. So we will go ahead and add it back. Also, in order to allow our module to be installed via Composer Package Manager, we have to create Composer JSON file. So let's create this file in our Magento 2 module. Composer JSON. Let's add it to Git. So first thing we have to specify is name of the module. In our case, it's Bronco Magento 2 module. Then description. Let's say my awesome Magento 2 module. But you can specify whatever description you want. Type of this package is Magento 2 module. Version 1.0.0. This is a version of our code in the module. Don't be confused with a setup version, which is our data or schema change. Then we have to specify a require section with all supported by Magento 2.x PHP versions. So starting from PHP 5522, 560, 702, and 704, and finally 706. This is a list of versions same as uh, Magento. And we also have to say, since we are using uh, XSD model XSD from uh, Magento framework, we have to specify dependency on Magento framework. Uh, with version 101 and star, it's for Magento 2.1. And if we want to support Magento 2.0 for our module, we would need to specify 100.0 and star version. Then we have to specify repository where our dependency, in our case Magento Framework, will be pulled from. So type of our repository is Composer and URL is repo magento.com. Also we would need to specify minimum stability of packages. We will we would like to have only stable packages and after load files our registration.php file which we created for our module for after load to see this file and psr for after load for uh, for our namespace pronco magenta 2 module we will say that this package is a package where all classes will be located. All right, let's enable our new module and let's use bin magenta command to check status of the module. And as you can see, we have one disabled module. It's our module. We will type bin magento module enable and name of our module Franco Magento 2 module to enable it. It has been enabled and next command we have to run is bin magento setup upgrade command in order for this module to be installed in the Magento 2 application. It's installed. And lastly, let's create a readme file where we will say few words about our awesome module. Module 
magenta to module example module for, for magenta to platform would be header of our readme file and this is my awesome magenta 2 module which uh, which supports all magenta to the text versions nice we can also write in this readme file installation instructions maybe some additional overview and so on so as a result we have four files which we are going to commit i've prepared a repository under my account mcs pranko magenta 2 module uh, where i have two files git ignore and composer json uh, just in case you guys would like to clone this repository and install magenta 2 application with our magenta 2 module so i will commit this our new module and i will specify commit message my first magenta 2 module it can be any message and we'll hit commit and push click push so let's refresh and as you can see we have our new module with our awesome readme feel free to clone this repository and install and use this as a skeleton for your future modules. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get updates. It would mean a lot to me. Also, if you have friends or colleagues who are interested in learning Magento to development, please share this video with them. See you next time. Bye.